Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So today we are going to going a step higher on the website that we were practicing. So today basically I'm going to create a section and on that section we are going to focus our artworks. Like there are, there are the different types of artworks we did for our clients and we'll show it to our user that we did this type of artworks for our clients. So for that, let's, let me show you something first. I have the three images on our folder. One is this. One is this and the other is this. So I will showcase these three images on our website so that the user who is using the website can get to know that yeah, we did this kind this type of artworks for our clients. So at first let me open this file with VS Code and first let's check is everything right or not. Okay, this is how it looks right now. The style sheet is also I think is pretty well. So let me first run this and see if everything is fine or not. Okay, this looks good. Everything is fine till now. Personalized handmade gifts. These are the sections we've created on our last video. So today I'm going to add today I'm going to add a different section where we'll show our art and it will be right behind this. So for that, let me go to index.html and here we are going to create a different section. So here we are going to add a different section and on its section let me first give it a class of named works sorry works and here we're going to use a header and the header will be named our works our works will use a p tag here and here we'll write Satisfied 100 plus clients with our handmade gifts for your loved ones. Satisfied 100 plus clients with with our handmade gifts. Our handmade handmade gifts for your loved ones. Okay, this this looks fine. Now let's first save this and what's it, how it looks like. Okay, we have got a different section where it's written our works and here it's written satisfied 100 plus clients with our handmade gifts for your loved ones. So now I have to do some styling on this section. So for that, let me go to style sheet first and here we are going to write dot class name which is works and here we're going to use width of 80%. 80% margin auto, then text align center, text align, text align center, then padding top, sorry, padding top equal to 50 pixel. We'll give some space so we have used padding. Now let's save this and what's in the server, how it looks like. Okay, it is coming to the center and here is written satisfied 100 plus clients with our handmade gifts for the loved ones. So now we are going to use different divisions for our for showcasing our arts, like what are the things we did for our customers. So for that, we, so here we are going to create a div and give this div a class name called row. Class name row and on this row we are going to create different divs. So at first I'll create a div with class name, class name works column, w o r k s works column. Let's see o l works column, and here we're going to use our image img image URL. So for that, at first I'm going to use the use portrait the portrait image p o r t r a p o r t. What did I did right now? portrait.jpz the next we are going to create a different div which will be a layer div and give the div a class name class name layer so here we are going to write a header which will describe what our art is it will be p-o-r-t-r-a-i-t okay this is done for the first art we are going to create two different types of artwork to show to our clients so for that let me copy this and paste it two times one time 
and two time. So the second one we are going to use is string alert. So for that we will write strnzart and on the image we are going to write string string dot string dot jpz and on the last one we're going to write the illustrations uh, i'm going to show the illustration we did for our clients so the image will be digital d i z i t a l and the name here i will write is digital illustration d i z i t a l i l l u s t r a t o n digital illustration so now let's save this and what's in the website how it looks like Okay, this is how it looks like now some pictures are sewing and the others are not sewing so for that we have to style our divisions again so for that let's go to style sheet again and do some kind of styling so for that we are going to use uh, works column we're going to use this class works call w r k s works call w o r k s works call and here we're going to use flex basis flex basis of 32 percent then we are going to use border radius border radius 10 pixel border radius 10 pixel then we are going to use margin 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 of 30 pixel then we're going to use position will be relative then overflow hidden overflow hidden now let's save this and watch it again okay this looks something odd like i have to do a lot of things again i have to change a lot of things so for that let's go to style sheet again and let me first copy this and here we're going to use ing because we are going to style our image this time i n g and here we are going to use width of 100% 100% okay let's save this now and watch it again okay this looks fine now this is one picture that will show us show to the clients this is another which will be the string art and this will be the digital illustration so if a, if a client comes and visits our website he will first see this then he will go to this section then at last he will go to this section which will display our works we did so now let me do some more styling on these divisions so for that go to our class layer let me copy this and paste it here go to dot and here we're going to write background get the mistake here I make this its border radius Let me delete this first border radius which will be your 10 pixel 10 pixel okay now let's see this again and it was okay you can see this has got curved borders here that looks nice now okay now we are going to use a layer which will now have a background background will have a color code here RGBA and the color code we're going to write two to six zero zero and use opacity of 70 percent then we're going to use height height will be all 100 percent then width will be 100 percent then position absolute position absolute then we're going to use top zero then top zero then left zero left zero okay now let's save this once again and what's it now okay you can see this has got a layer over those pictures but we want to get the layer only if we move our mouse cursor over these pictures like we need a hover effect here so for that i'm going to use a hover effect and for that i'm going to write dot layer dot layer and use the hover effect so here i'm going to write background bsck zero unity background the same color code as before we'll use this let's copy this and paste it here 
And now the first thing we have to do is to remove this. We're going to make it transparent so that only if we move our mouse cursor over those pictures, then only it will show us the layer. So for that, I'm going to write transparent here. Transparent. Okay, now let's save this once again and watch it now how it looks like. Okay, I'll try to move my mouse cursor over those pictures and see how it changes its color. You can see this guy beautiful hover effect, but I'm going to add some more transition to look it smooth. You can see it works well on three of them. So I'm going to use a transition and for that I'm going here and use a transition transition of 0 0.5 seconds. 0 0.5 seconds. Let's save this once again and yeah, you can see the smoothness. It's got a transition, it's got some timing. So again and we'll write dot layer dot layer and it's three and here we will use width width will be 100 percent width will be 100 percent then font width font width will be 500 500 then color will be white color will be white then font size will be 26 pixel font size 26 pixel then we're going to use bottom zero bottom zero then left 50 percent left 50 percent then transform f or transform translate transform translate x minus 50 percent minus 50 percent so it will be at the bottom and the center from x axis bottom 50 percent then position will be absolute now we are going to use the hover effect on header. So for that we will write layer and hover, layer then hover on H3, H3 and here we are going to use bottom 49% and opacity is 1. And initially on layer H3 we will make the opacity 0, opacity will be 0 and later on it will turn to 1 and on layer H3 we are going to use a transition transition of 0 0.5 seconds so now let's save this and watch it how it looks so now you can see if I move my mouse cursor over these images you can see the hover effect as well as what does it signify like what that picture is so I'm going to move my mouse cursor over this and you can see it's a portrait it shows us the portrait with a hover effect you can see this is a string art and you can see this is digital illustration which, which the website illustrates it pretty well. So now you can see this side it's not it's it has not got the border radius like it's not round. So for that we are going to make it round again and for that we'll go to works call images works column images and here we're going to write display block display block. Now let's save this and you can see it has got this round feature so that's how it's created that's how different sections are created and now let's open this website in small screen and see is everything okay with the small screen or not so for that i'm clicking here you can see this is the first thing that will show us it has got the menu which works pretty well and behind that you can get these sections which shows us the personalized handmade gifts and later on the and now you can see these pictures even works good on small screen devices like we don't need to use media query here so you can see it shows us everything. Our work satisfied 100 plus clients with our handmade gifts for their loved ones. I hope you all liked the video. Uh, one thing I'm always trying to improve. But if you have any constructive criticism or any questions or anything, put it down in the comments. And if you want to be with me in this journey, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again.